Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Well, uh, I'm Xavier Peralta. I work as a sysadmin at CSUC. And well, uh, my speech is going to be about uh, how are we planning uh, to, to evolve the, the management of, of our systems. Uh, but, fifth, but, but first, uh, I would like to, to talk about what is CSUC, uh, which is our purpose uh, in, in a nutshell. Well, CSUC uh, stands for uh, Consorci de Serveis Universitaris de Catalunya. <laughs> well, uh, it's a consortium that is formed by, by these universities uh, of, of Catalonia. And also, uh, we provide services to, to other public institutions. institutions. Well, uh, we provide uh, all of these sort of, uh, of services. Uh, we have a, an HPC cluster, storage services. Uh, we manage the Anaya Scientifica, uh, which is the, the educational network in Catalonia. And well, we provide a different kind of repositories among other services. So, to provide the, most of these services, we, we use Open Nebula uh, as our private cloud platform, but uh, also uh, we are able to put uh, our services on, on public cloud like uh, VMware vCloud and AWS. Uh, that's because uh, we were looking for, for a tool that allows us to, to manage uh, all this stuff in a centralized and automatic way. To achieve the, this way of, of managing, uh, we use uh, any of these tools, well, in, in this case we use Ansible uh, or Puppet, but uh, also we need to, to deploy the infrastructure I in this same way. So this is why we are looking uh, for an infrastructure as a code uh, tool like uh, CloudFormation, uh, SaltStack, or, or Terraform. Well, uh, we have chosen Terraform, uh, well, uh, Terraform is an infrastructure as a code uh, software that allows us to define the, our infrastructure simply by providing the code and, and launching it. Terraform is written in Go and uh, not only has the yes tire but also uh, has uh, PaaS and, and SAS. Uh, this prevents us, well, the Terraform prevents us of doing repetitive, repetitive work when we want to redeploy a similar service and uh, also uh, avoid uh, human errors uh, when, when we do it by, by hand. In our case, uh, Terraform is, is useful to deploy different container clusters uh, uh, for different repository projects. Well, uh, as you can see, Terraform has a strong and active community behind it. Uh, has uh, 109 releases and more than 1,000 Contributors. Yeah, it's uh, created by HashiCorp. It's the same company that owns uh, Background and, and Consul. Well, it is important to know that uh, Terraform uh, is not a magic wand uh, that uh, gives you the power over all clouds. Well, in fact, it is. If you have, if if there exists uh, an a provider for Terraform. But uh, you need to download each, uh, this Terraform provider and install it if you want to use it. Uh, each Terraform provider, as you see, as you can see, uh, uses uh, its own variables and, and specific code, so you have to know every one of these to use it. Okay, so uh, we have a, a, a tool that is not cloud agnostic, and we have Open Nebula that can talk with most of our public providers. And thanks to Rentastic and BlackBerry, we have also a Terraform provider for Open Nebula. So Open Nebula uh, gives us the freedom to deploy our, uh, our infrastructure on different cloud providers, just choosing the correct templates. Uh, that means that, uh, for example, if we want to deploy the infrastructure on, on AWS, we just need to, to select the, the AWS template uh, on Open Nebula. If you want to deploy a, a virtual machine on, on a local KVM, you just uh, choose uh, the template that uh, will deploy this, this virtual machine on, on the local uh, Open Nebula. Uh, well, as you can see uh, here, 
uh, you can well you can see that uh, you have to define the, the the instance type in the in the open nebula template but w if we go, go there it's the same as the as in the terraform code in the terraform provider for aws so for us it's simple to to do it uh, through open nebula instead of uh, learn each different Terraform provider. Well, uh, let's see a little bit more what, what can offer Terraform. Uh, well, as uh, is this provider uh, leverages the Open Nebula XML RPC API and is tested for versions five. As I mentioned before, it's based on a project that was started by uh, Rantastic and, and continued by BlackBerry. And, and by now allows us to define uh, these resources like, well, templates is not in the slide, but templates, uh, virtual machines, images, virtual networks, and security groups. Uh, we've prepared a, a demo where we can see what can, what can we do with, uh, with these tools that, that you see here. Well, uh, the idea is that the, the Bob's commit the code uh, to GitHub and from Jenkins, we can check out the, the, this code and run uh, <coughs> Terraform. Um, yeah, and then Terraform to provide the infrastructure. Uh, and when uh, the, the infrastructure is up and running, we can launch an Ansible playbook to install or configure some stuff inside the new infra infrastructure. Uh, well, uh, as, I, uh, as I said before, this is independent wherever you have to deploy the infrastructure. Can be a local KVM, VMware, B Cloud, AWS, whatever Open Nebula can talk to. Well, uh, this will be the, the Terraform workflow, where uh, it's the, more or less will be the same. <laughs> Sorry. Where the, uh, the DevOps uh, creates the Terraform config file, uh, then uh, runs a Terraform init to load the, the providers to, to Terraform. In this case, will be the Open Nebula provider. Uh, after that, uh, runs a Terraform plan where that uh, will show uh, which changes uh, will apply and also uh, store or, or save the, this, the state because in case we want to destroy the plan, uh, we know what we have to, to destroy. And finally, uh, Terraform, the Terraform apply that deploys the, the infrastructure. Uh, well, the Jenkins is the, is the same idea. But uh, what we want to do is to automatize uh, the Terraform workflow uh, instead of run, of run stage by stage by hand. So we permit Jenkins to do the work for us. Well, it's the same. We will do the, the Jenkins, in, one, in, in this case, we'll do the, the checkout of the code from GitHub. We'll do the Terraform mini, the plan and apply. And once the Terraform finishes and returns the, the VM attrib attributes, We'll run an Ansible job with AWX to make some configs or installs on, on the new, on the new in, instead, instance. Well, well, as you can see here, uh, Jenkins Pipelines uh, uses uh, Tower CLI to add the, the, the new host created uh, to the inventory of AWX. And then uh, we define uh, which role will we'll have uh, this new instance in order to install or configure its specific packages. Uh, well, in this case, uh, we are deploying a web server, but uh, we also test uh, uh, deploying a Kubernetes cluster or, or Ranger cluster to host some repository services. But here you can see the, the Jenkins logs where it confirms the, the web server has been deployed by Ansible. And this is the same uh, Ansible logs, but instead from, from the Jenkins, from the AWX. Well, it's interesting, interesting to see that uh, all actions are, are logged, uh, so it could be useful if, to the pack if, if something went uh, go wrong. OK, so uh, I will uh, show you a video because I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay. All right. No?
I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, uh, as you can see, uh, what, there is no images. Uh, no temp uh, what, there are just uh, two templates, but are standard templates. Our uh, well, control is uh, so. Uh, let's here uh, we have to to set the Git repository, the, the Git branch, the uh, open nebula endpoint in AWX URL, and the, the Jenkins start uh, to do the checkout from, from GitHub. Well, do the Terraform minute and Terraform plan. The provider is already uh, copied to the, to the directory. Uh, you can see here, uh, let me, you, you can see here the, Yeah, you can see here the, the, the template uh, we are uh, uploading to, to the Open Nebula. And this will be the attributes that Open Nebula return to, to, to Jenkins. Okay. It's doing the. Okay. Now, by now, will uh, is is creating the the VM. The template is already created. Uh, well, we have the same template that we put in in Jenkins. And once uh, this finished, we'll we'll add the the IP to the to the. Uh, AWX inventory, and we'll we'll apply we'll run the, the playbook. Uh, we have time. Okay, machine is running. It's booting. So now, okay. Now, well, returns the the ID of the VM and the and the IP. This is to store the the Terraform plan in case we, we want to, to destroy the, the plan and, and, and come, to, uh, come back to the, to the beginning. And well, now it's, uh, it's applying the, the, the Ansible playbook that uh, consists the in, to install a web server and, and and that's all. So we, we, we can go, and here we can see that well, the, the web server has, has been installed. Okay, uh, let's see if I can. Okay, well, uh, in addition to this simple demo, uh, we have done some basic tutorials uh, about deploying a Kubernetes cluster with, with Terraform and Ansible. So you can check in, in this uh, URL. And also, uh, we, ha we have uh, another tutorial that uh, it's published on, on the Open Nebula blog. Uh, 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 it's the same uh, the the other, but, but this, this uh, instead of uh, Kubernetes, it's a rancher cluster. 
So feel free to check and well, if you have some feedback, so we appreciate. And last, I will to thank my colleague Miguel Angel who have done this, this demo and, and tutorials. Uh, and thank uh, you all for your attention. So if you, if you have some, some questions, uh, feel free to ask or, or we can talk now uh, at the coffee break. Thank you.